uh, Dr. Jürgen Birdorf and uh, Chris Harris, Professor Chris Harris. It's not very title, but uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just conferred by Murdoch. Yes. <laughs> but uh, you know, when Chris uh, and Jürgen first approached me some time ago about the journal, I thought it was a terrific idea. I was um, really happy to support it because I think it indicates, it signals very strongly uh, the fact that Kaplan takes teaching and learning very, very seriously and that they wanted to undertake a, a real scholarly commitment uh, to teaching and learning through the journal. So I wanted to applaud that initiative and also uh, thank you for all of your support for the Teaching and Learning Symposium. Without that support, I think that we wouldn't be here uh, today. And I think that uh, you deserve a round of applause. The first round of applause. <laughs> I also want to, uh, to thank their boss, Associate Professor Rhys Johnson, for, uh, for his leadership and for uh, his sponsorship of the journal and also the Teaching and Learning uh, Symposium. So thank you very much, Rhys, for that. And, and of course to my terrific staff uh, who organised much of today while I was uh, sunning myself on the Amalfi Coast uh, in Italy. Uh, Someone's got to do it. Uh, Veronica and Daryl, thank you so much for your support. Well, folks, we have a fantastic day ahead of us. I think it's going to be a really exciting day. I've been looking forward to today for some time. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun uh, throughout the day, particularly this afternoon when we have the great debate. So um, hopefully you can hang around for the great debate, which is uh, going to be debating the proposition that the lecture is dead. Uh, but today we have a number of really interesting presentations and, and what a great time to be in the field of education and higher education when there has been this revolution in learning, when we have so many uh, tools as educators at our disposal to enhance uh, student learning. It's a fantastic time. And I always say to my staff that there is no shortage of demand for higher education in this part of the world. Young people uh, throughout Asia are yearning uh, to receive a higher education. And what we have to do is to try and figure out the supply side. How can we supply uh, higher education at a price point that they can afford and in ways which are meaningful to them? And I think that some of the new technologies that are available uh, to us as educators can really assist us in that mission. And so that's why I think it's a really exciting time. And so many of the presentations are going to be talking about technology uh, today. Um, some will be talking about uh, various other aspects of pedagogy, but I think that the idea of this session is that we want people to participate strongly, we want you to ask questions, we want to be uh, involved and engaged, and of course, very importantly, we want you to have a great time, um, because it is a Friday after all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, look, I don't want to... Um, to give you a lecture because as we all know the lecture is dead <laughs> um, or as you'll know this afternoon. So without further ado, um, thank you again for coming along but I wanted to introduce Associate Professor Rhys Johnson uh, to say a few words and I've been instructed very clearly by uh, Dr Jürgen to read out Rhys's full biography. Um, so bear with me, we may need to take a tea break. Um, <laughs> some stage. But look, Associate yeah. Professor Rhys Johnson is currently Chief Operating Officer of Capital Singapore, uh, not President of Capital Singapore, which means that he's unimpeachable, I think. <laughs> he has over 20 years of involvement in education with a focus on business management, capital city finance. And prior to joining, uh, rejoining Capital in 2011, he was Head of Education for the Asia Pacific region with the ACCA, the Global Accountancy Body. At ACCA, he was responsible for overseeing the implementation of ACCA's global education policy within Southeast Asia and Greater China, including the business development, design, delivery uh, of lecturer training, lecturer partner accreditation, and university collaborations. In a previous role at ACCA, he was responsible for ACCA's <laughs> professional examination scheme, a process that involved coordinating the work of over 50 Chris question writers and 600 markets in the development and delivery of half a million examinations, which sounds like a colossal headache to me. 
uh, over 50 countries. He's also lectured on accountancy and management related subjects in the United Kingdom, Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, and mainland China in Mandarin, Vietnamese, Cambodia, <laughs> which is, I, I'm sure you'll agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, quite remarkable. Uh, he started his accountancy career at Price Waterhouse, where he qualified as a chartered accountant. Uh, he's also worked for Ernst & Young um, in the democracy known as Bahrain. Um, and Rhys graduated with a BA in history from the University of Leicester. And has also, this is a little known fact, which I think many of you will um, be a little bit surprised to learn. He also earned an MA, a Master of Arts in Military Studies from the American Military University, where I'm told he specialised in military tactics, insurgency, and sniping from tall buildings. So, <laughs> with that, thank you so much, Reese, for coming along and supporting this, and, uh, and thank you for taking away my support. <laughs> <laughs> and we look forward to your comments. Thank you.